Elder called Ted Fields. It was very um he died a couple of years ago and he was a a great elder in town and he knew a lot about the legends and the language and he recorded a lot of stories, Dreamtime stories of the local area. One of these stories is how the Barwon River was made and it, it, uh, it, it starts something like this, how the Barwon River was made. A long time ago, during the time of creation, the Barwon River as we know it today ended at Uriuri. Uriuri is a place about eight kilometres out of Walgut and Uriuri means a place of parrots. From there the Bowen River was only a narrow drain. One day a great warrior, Urigal, the sun, saw a huge fish, Gudu the Cod, asleep in the river near Uriuri. He speared the fish and it rushed into the small drain at the head of the river. Being such a big fish, it caused this drain to widen as it forced its way downstream. After chasing the fish for a long time and realising that he would not be able to catch it, the warrior sent a message ahead to his cousin, Balu, the moon, who lived near Wilkenya, and told him that the fish would be passing there soon. Balu, the moon, gathered his spears and waited for Gudu the Cod to come past. Balu chased Gudu until he reached the moon, the open plains near the Murray River. At this point he tried to tackle Gudu and a fierce struggle ensued. They kicked and rolled around creating several deep holes in the plain into which the water flowed. When Urigar arrived he killed Gudu and chopped him into many small pieces and as he threw them each piece into the river he named one Gai Gai the catfish, Tugai the yellow belly, Inga the crayfish, Gija the shrimp, Wyamba the turtle and so on until he had stocked the lakes with all the marine creatures of the western rivers. That is how the Bowen River became the Great River and how the Menindee Lakes as we know them today came to be and how all the fish, the turtles, the mussels and other water creatures were created and have multiplied and thrived in all our western rivers and creeks.